Hello, it's Brooklyn, and I wanted to show you guys really quickly um, where to look for mealybugs and also how to get rid of them. So if you look uh, at this plant, this plant had mealybugs and I was able to successfully get rid of them. And I just wanna show you guys how I did that and where to look. So first of all, mealybugs love to hang out in the crevices of the plant, in the nooks and crannies and the tight areas, um, in between the leaves where the leaves touch the stem, that's where they love to hang out. And they look like tiny little furry, fuzzy, white, pieces of cotton actually and so if you see any of those on your plant um, they don't necessarily look like bugs uh, at first glance but they are in fact mealybugs so if you see any of those on your plant of course they can be in between the leaves and they can actually be on the leaves sometimes you'll want to get rid of them and so the most effective way to get rid of mealybugs is isopropyl alcohol and what I did to get rid of mealybugs on this plant was I loaded a spray bottle with a bit of alcohol and I just sprayed the plant, sprayed it, sprayed it some more and sprayed it again. And what you'll see happens is once you spray the alcohol onto the mealybugs, their outer skin or outer surface, the white fuzzy part will disappear immediately and you will be left with like a little brown or red dot, like a tiny little brown or red dot. And I guess that's the, the core of the mealybug. And once you spray the alcohol, they immediately kill, they're immediately killed. And then you can just uh, take a cotton swab or a toothpick and get rid of the mealybug, you know, in between the leaves or on the leaves. And it's as simple as that. All you have to do is spray it, spray it really, really well one time, um, sit it out to dry, it really dries quickly. So that's why you wanna use alcohol. And uh, come back a little later, come back the next day, maybe a couple of days later and see if there are any more mealybugs. And if there are, spray it again. You wanna repeat that process anytime you see mealybugs and eventually they will go away. Um, I also like to spray the soil a little bit too or and you can even change the soil if you see mealybugs um, just because they like to live in, I believe they like to live in soil too. So it might be just a good idea to change out the soil if you can. Um, but this one, I did not change the soil out. I just was able to spray it. And as you can see, it didn't damage the plant. Um, it looks, you know, healthier than it did before and without mealybugs. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's a really simple process. Just keep an eye on your plants. And if you see that they have mealybugs, um, one thing, another thing you wanna do is isolate them from other plants because mealybugs can spread um, from, pant, from plant to plant. Um, and mealybugs come from overwatering, which I think I was doing a lot. I was definitely overwatering my plants and that's how mealybugs you know, came, uh, got to this plant. So, um, and that's it. Really simple, super easy. If you guys have any comments or questions or stories you'd like to share, just leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Brooklyn, and I'll see you later.